Well, today we're learning more about the man charged with terrorism in Williamsburg. We've been telling you about Stephen Powers since police took him into custody last week. Police say Powers set off an explosive device in Colonial Williamsburg. No one was hurt in the explosion. Police charged Powers with several felonies, including an act of terrorism. Our Matt Gregory is back in Williamsburg this afternoon. So, Matt, what are you learning about the suspect so far? Well, the first thing we learned about the suspect, this was last night, Liz Kilmer reported this, is that he was a Colonial Williamsburg maintenance worker, at least up until last week. Now, we're back where the what police call now, according to court documents, a pipe bomb exploded last Thursday. So I'm going to show you something over here. It's right over here where you can see the frayed wires from this particular extension cord, as well as frayed wires from this tree light set up here. That's part of what police found in their investigation when looking into what happened. So let's take you to the court documents that we got. This started, according to court paperwork, on October 11th. That's when investigators came in to brought power, Stephen Powers, into their view. Williamsburg fire crews responded to smoke coming from a maintenance office. Powers told them he went to inspect it and no explosive device was found. Documents say that for the next few days, Powers alerted police to different messages he found on the maintenance office door. Now, on October 19th, the explosion happened in the parking lot that we're in right now, and a pipe bomb was hidden under the mulch. That's according to the court documents that the explosion was caused by a pipe bomb. Police questioned Powers because of the two prior incidents, and they say they found holes in his story, some discrepancies. So they went to talk to him at his house. Well, at his home in Gloucester, police say they found what was described as bomb making materials. They say that Powers denied that they were bomb making materials, said it was for a homemade shotgun he was working on making. But the markings on the pipe that they found at his residence matched the markings on the pipe found at the scene of the blast. Now, after going over the investigation, police ended up arresting Stephen Powers. We're continuing to follow the story, bring you the latest coming up starting at 4 o'clock here on Wavy News 10. But for now in Williamsburg, I'm Matt Gregory. Tell on your side.